we can establish that if Alzheimer's takes place, um, you will lose your ability to, to recall memories. But that doesn't prove that your memories are in your brain. In fact, I taught, uh, we had the leading expert in the world, probably on memory, a uh, professor of psychology at UC Santa Barbara, who's published more on this subject than anybody alive, I think, and he gave an, came and gave a lecture to about 15 of us on the faculty at Viola, and he said, look, I have no idea what it even means to say that a memory's in the brain. I don't even know what that means. Because if you think of the brain and you were shrunk down to an atom, it's largely empty space with these little particles that are a long way from one another that are exerting forces. Where are you supposed to put a memory? Is it kind of spread between the particles or, you know, is it stuck in a synapse somewhere? Memories do not have spatial extension and the only things that are in the brain are spatially extended things. But my memory of my grandmother doesn't have extension. It, it isn't a half an inch long or anything like that. Now, what is going on with the memory thing? Well, suppose that I were in a car and I was strapped in with a, seat, with a driver's seat belt and it was locked and the doors were locked so I couldn't get out of the driver's seat. Would you agree that my ability to move around town would depend upon the car working? If the steering wheel got broken so it only turned right instead of left, I would be limited in my ability as to which direction I could go. But that wouldn't prove I was the car. It would be consistent with that that I'm the driver of the car. And the same thing, when we can establish that there's a problem with the body that hinders my ability to do something, that shows that I am the driver of the body, but that I'm not the same thing as the body. But while I'm in the body, I need the body to work. Okay, uh, so um, here's what I do. I liken this to a CD. Suppose you have a CD. Is there any music in the CD? The answer is no. How do I know? I've held these things up to my ears, and I've listened very carefully, and there is no music in the CD. What is in the CD, let's just say, are grooves, or, or various patterns of digital whatever it is. Let's just call them grooves. Now, guess what? If the CD isn't damaged, and you put it in the right retrieval system, guess what will happen? You will get a... Sound, even a song. That doesn't prove the song is in the CD. What it proves is that there are stored in the CD a certain configuration that can produce a sound if it's not broken and the right retrieval system calls it up. Same with memory. Memories aren't in the brain. Thoughts aren't in the brain. What's in the brain are neural networks and grooves. So that if your brain isn't damaged, if you have Alzheimer's, you can't re use the brain to recall your memories. If the brain isn't damaged, then the retrieval system, your soul or mind, can activate memories by triggering those grooves. But that doesn't show the memories are in the brain. That any more than music is in a CD. That's, that's the way I liken that. 